greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the You Better Say That talk show. I'm your host, Alzada Florence, and I'm so glad that you took the time to join us today. Listen, I have some dynamic people in the house, and I can't wait for you to meet them. Today we're going to be talking about mental health, and we want to make sure that you understand the importance of how denial affect us when we're dealing with mental health. Mm -hmm. So I have some experts here that is going to share with us about denial today. I want to introduce our guest today. Amen. We have Apostle Israel Jones all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you for coming. I know it was a sacrifice for you coming all the way down the road, two hours. But we're so glad that you made it today. Amen. My honor, my honor. Amen. Amen. And we also have prophetess Belinda White, all the way from Auburn, Alabama. Amen. Thank you. She's going to co-host with me today, so we are excited about her new journey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And we also have Minister Kim Coleman, all the way from Opelika, Alabama. Amen. And she is an awesome woman of God. Amen. Can't wait to see what God has in store for her. So as we begin to... Um, dive into our, our program today, our show. We want you to, to take the time to listen because mental health, health is on the rise. Mental health is on the rise. And it has really uh, taken off these last two years behind the pandemic, behind the depression, and behind all of the anxiety and fear that the pandemic brought, brought on in our nation, our country, even in our homes, mm -hmm. even among our family, even here in our community. So today we're here to share about denial when it comes to mental health illness. So listen, Prophetess is going to take it from here. Amen. Thank you again. And let's give our host a hand clap. Amen. Uh, thank you so much uh, for taking this task on mm -hmm. and uh, provoking us to try to start making positive changes uh, as it relates to mental illness. Uh, our wellness mm -hmm. as a whole person mm -hmm. uh, and we're not going to waste any time um, on our topic. Uh, so the first question I'd like to ask is why is it so difficult to acknowledge that there is a problem? Mm. Oh, wow. I, I will go first with that. Okay. I, I, I'll speak from my own experience with my own diagnosis. Uh, and I'll just shortly and quickly uh, talk on two things. Mm -hmm. One of my things with denial, I would say, is stigma. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had such a negative connotation of mental health awareness, not only in the world system, but it has now spilled over into the spiritual system. Yes. And so, especially in leadership in different areas of life, even if you're just a leadership on your job, if, you, if you're in a place where people are actually paying attention to you and listening to you and watching you, the stigma of mental health will make you say, no, nah, I'm having a moment. Yes. No, nah, I just need to take me a vacation. Wow. When truly there is an imbalance. Mm -hmm. And what we have to keep in mind that the imbalance a lot of times is chemical. Mm -hmm. It's not so much of, you know, I'm just having a bad day. Right. There's something truly going on on the inside of you that's affecting your, 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 your main system of movement, of thinking. That's your brain. So just it's the stigma of it mm -hmm. definitely causes us to have denial. And then another one is just simply this. This can't happen to me. Oh, come on now. That's a good There's one. There's no yeah. way in the you world. You better say that. You know, this you can't happen to that. me. I've seen the people that they say have mental health diagnoses. I don't look like them. I don't act like them. What I see in the movies, I'm not doing that. Yes. I'm not crawling around on the floor. I'm mm -hmm. not speaking mm -hmm. to different voices. However, there are times when I don't even realize that I'm in the world, op you know, functioning correctly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, just denial. This is not going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. This is not dealing with me. And, and, and so what we have to do is to understand, just like, and we said this last time, Prophet mm -hmm. V, just like when we have stomach pain, mm -hmm. we have to go to the gastroenterologist. Sure. Just like when our heart is hurting, we have to find a cardiologist. Mm -hmm. When your brain is causing pain mm -hmm. in your uh, emotional side of life, sure. you need to seek some yeah. help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so those are the two things I would touch on, mm -hmm. um, just from personal experiences about dealing with denial. With That's good. So That's it sounds good. like you're saying that just being afraid of how others would yes. react to you mm -hmm. and also just not knowing, mm -hmm. just not knowing. Um, and we find that a lot. Apostle, 
do you have anything to add to that? She said so many great things, mm -hmm. but I just add a few other things. You kind of touched on it. Uh, how we're being perceived by others a lot of yeah. time make yeah. us back away. Mm -hmm. And then we make people feel uncomfortable, yes. making them thinking yes. that, you know, it's beyond hope. There's no way you can come out of this. So mm -hmm. most people, when they start having a problem, mm -hmm. they're going to deny why. Well, I wanna, why do I want to admit to you that I have a problem yes. and you're going to put me in this category that I'm crazy? Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm, and that's so where we that's have to always go, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. You're not mm -hmm. going you're not going to be good for anything else. Oh and then, therefore, we have to let people know mm -hmm. there's help. Yes. And it's not as bad as it seems Amen. a lot of times. Yes. Yes. See, a lot of times yes. you think, well, if I'm, if I'm having a mental issue, then I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. No, right. it's not as bad. There's always help. And I like mm -hmm. what you said mm -hmm. about the chemical imbalance. Yes. 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 When we get that in our mind, understand there's a chemical imbalance mm -hmm. in our brain mm -hmm. that can be mm -hmm. fixed. Yes. We'll take high blood pressure medicine. Mm, medicine. Come on now. Come uh, on. You know, so you there's that. something that you need for your mental capacity mm -hmm. that, that don't make this. Again, we wipe away the stigma. We can do that part. Mm -hmm. Like, it's okay yes. to admit that you have a problem. Right. It's okay to admit that, yes. you know, you need some help. That's yes. right. And, yes. and, and I like the commercials that they're doing now, and mm -hmm. I, I can't think of who's doing it, but how the people denying help. There's one particular person that's been snake bit, mm -hmm. and there's time said, you know, there's help. Let's get you to a hospital. He yes. said, you knew my people no. you know you you, you know <laughs> we, my, my dad had never asked for help oh my, come on. so we got to get away from that so we start saying look yes. there's help for you come on now there, you know there's hope for you yes. and your yes. situation is not impossible oh, thank you, right. and so we can keep the balance yes. keep that balance yes. Yes. Better yes. Say that. That's you awesome. better say that yes. mm -hmm. thank you so much well i know i'm not an expert mm -hmm. but i just want to add just a small token to what everybody has already said um, and I think it just sums it up. But this word kept coming to me while you were talking and while you were talking. Um, just shame. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I mean, just Absolutely. shame. Yes. You know, just shame to allow mm -hmm. anyone to know that you are in this place. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because what does mental health mm -hmm. look like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does mental health illness, what it, look, what it looks like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, what you know what size is it? What color is it? Mm -hmm. You know, it has, it's, it's, it has none of that. It's just what it is. What it is. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. shame will mm -hmm. cause us to be in denial. That's yes. Exactly. That's you know, and that's mental, good. mental illness looks like us. Exactly. Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, um, that's good. That that's mental illness, if one would say, uh, go out and pick out who you think has a mental illness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't characterize it by physical appearance. Sure. Uh, because there are many people with mental illness who function very well mm -hmm. in our society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we have to be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. uh, that shame thing is a big thing. Yes. 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 But if you think about it, there are people who may have symptoms, they may feel a lump, mm -hmm. but they don't say anything mm -hmm. to anybody. Mm -hmm. wow. They may see discoloration in their urine, mm -hmm. uh, or they see yellow in their eyes, or there may be an ache somewhere mm -hmm. or pain somewhere and it's like it's just a this mm -hmm. wow. it's just mm -hmm. a that wow. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in our society we are more receptive to those kind of things mm -hmm. but the main thing that keeps everything going which is the brain okay. mm -hmm. that's where we have a problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so my next question is how damaging is denial oh, oh wow Wow. Apostle, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> let, you start. let me start. Yes. I'll piggyback. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, denial can be uh, beyond imagination if you if there's no help or if there's mm -hmm. no outlet for denial. Because mm -hmm. as I was driving down, I asked a series of questions. What does denial mean, Siri? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it said a the statement that is not true. Mm -hmm. And if we lie to ourselves, that's the only meaning it gave. Mm -hmm. if, if, if we keep telling ourselves something that's not true, mm -hmm. we can become our own reality. Yes. And yeah. so we can start getting ourselves in a position mm -hmm. where our denial become our truth. Yes. Wow. And so when someone try to help us, we mm -hmm. find ourselves saying, no, that can't be true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. this is what I've always been taught. Mm -hmm. And this is what I uh, look come to accept yes. and I think that's the word I'm looking for when you uh, start denying for long, so long you accept that truth mm. yes. and no matter how many people come along and try to help you that's not your truth mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. so essentially it's not your truth mm -hmm. it's never going to be your reality mm -hmm. and right. you can never get true help because you're going to always deny whatever the truth really is right. that's right. Mm -hmm. you better yeah. say that oh, yeah. that is Ooh. awesome oh, wow. uh, that reminds me uh, when I was teaching 
uh, Bible study at Tuskegee uh, University mm -hmm. to the choir, and one of our topics that particular night was denial. Mm -hmm. And uh, the acronym I use, and although I know that no does not start with an N, it starts with a K, mm -hmm. we just kind of freestyle yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. But don't even know I am lying mm -hmm. okay, wow. yes. to myself. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, don't even know I am lying oh, to myself. Yeah, uh, and when you lie to yourself, and as Apostle just said, it becomes your truth. Mm -hmm. And when the help is available, you keep saying, but it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a difference between uh, denial and faith. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Because one can have these things going on, mm -hmm. no matter what your condition is, mm -hmm. be it mental uh, illness or whatever other illness, it doesn't diminish your faith by saying, I know what the doctor said, mm -hmm. but I believe yes. that God is still able. Yes. Yes. Uh, you got to say that. Yeah. I know I'm taking this medication. I know I have to take this test. I know I have to watch my diet, but I still believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I still believe. Do uh, God made doctors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 That's it. Amen. You know, and, and before you go on, I was just thinking about what de a denial can cause. Yes. Not only can denial put you in a stagnated place, yes. it can stagnate the people around you. Mm -hmm. right? right. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we see mm -hmm. what others won't accept. Right. That's right. And, That's and, and the ones that, that are connected mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. what it's going to do is going to put them in a whole nother realm or mm -hmm. a whole nother place mm -hmm. where you're supposed to be going down on east. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to veer off to the west mm -hmm. because I got to find a way until you accept what's going on and where you right. are. Right. I got to find a way to hang in there with you. Mm -hmm. So it transforms everything, Every, wow. everybody everything. around you. So denial mm -hmm. is not only damaging to you, mm -hmm. but everybody, everything that's connected connected to you wow. is going to be a, a casualty that's right. of your denial. That's that's right. Right. Oh, that's, that's good. And, and I really like that because that brings me to uh, a situation that happened on last night. Mm -hmm. I'm on call back up uh, for our on call uh, this week and uh, we received a call where the mother was dealing with a son who he has a mental illness but is not being treated. Mm -hmm. uh, and she had retrieved him from the road. He had been uh, uh, in the road, in a praying position, in the middle of the oh, road. Wow. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mom was able to finally get him in, and she barricaded the door to try to keep him out. Mm -hmm. But she couldn't, couldn't do that all night long. Sure. Uh, that warranted him uh, needing to be committed because he said, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. That's that's denial. Mm -hmm. That's what denial looked like. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't all right. No, he wasn't. And so it, it not only affected him, but it affected his mom. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, yes. And th yes. these are the kinds of things that we want to bring awareness to mm -hmm. uh, in our community to better educate. You know, the mother didn't know what was wrong with him, wow. but she knew I need some help. Mm -hmm. and, and the language of it's, you know, this diagnosis versus that, she wasn't there. And it's not really important that we know all of these uh, medical terms mm -hmm. when sure. we are talking with people. It's good to inform them, mm -hmm. but it's not necessary. At the moment, she, her, her baby needed help. That's right. Okay? right. And when I say her baby, this young man was 40 something years old. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay. So she's mm -hmm. been dealing with, with, with these kinds of things for a long time. But he's been in denial, resistant. You know, uh, he just wasn't well. Right. right Thank right. you all so much. That's I want you to inject something real quick yes, right there. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. She said something that, that made me think about this. Mm -hmm. The, the people that's mm -hmm. uh, in denial, if we're going to help them, we have to remember that people in denial become a saboteur. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and so we have to work beyond that sabotage mm -hmm. that they're doing. So they'll do things to make sure they push you away yes. from them. Because mm -hmm. it's, if you start finding out what they don't want you to know is true, mm -hmm. they're going to do something to either hurt you, insult mm -hmm. you, yes. or try to make you run away from them. Yes. Yes. So it's yes. important that we know how to go press through that sabotage and mm -hmm. really help them. Oh, that's good. good. Well, see, that kind of, um, I'm going to tag off of that and what you said real quick. But um, when I think about denial, the damage uh, that denial brings on uh, individuals, and not just mental health, but anything, mm -hmm. it keeps you 
from getting help. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. It exactly. holds you back, you know, yeah. because if you're in denial, I'm not going to the doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're in denial, I'm not taking this medication. Yeah. That's right. You know, I'm not going to sit um, to talk to someone. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. and so it, it holds you back. It hinders you from getting the help that you need. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's very damaging because if you have mental health um, issues, then you need to take medicine mm -hmm. or you need to, you know, go into a facility mm -hmm. or, you know, you need to go and talk to someone, whatever the the um, the answer is, um, you know, or the, the uh, prescription is or whatever it is, if you're in denial, you're not able to uh, accept help mm -hmm. exactly. for yourself, you mm -hmm. know, and in order for any of us to get help in any arena, we've got to at first admit, admit. that we have a problem or have an issue mm -hmm. because if we don't, we will not act on the fact that we need help. That's yes. right. That's I, I want to say this and I'm going to move on mm -hmm. about how difficult it is to get help, <clears throat> not only because you may be in denial mm -hmm. that you have a problem, but those around you can't make you mm, get the help. Right. And uh -huh. because of how our Jesus. system is set up, you have to go through court mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, to get someone uh, uh, admitted to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Now, it used to be long years ago. Mm -hmm. Folk used to get paid to sign folk up. <laughs> <laughs> They're not doing that now. They're not doing They're that now. Call them folk, tell them to come get me. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get the money. However, mm -hmm. um, about it. it is very difficult in that situation that I was just uh, sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, the young lady was asking me uh, should I contact the judge because mm -hmm. the judge has to give an order for this person right. uh, to you know be transported right, sure. uh, to be admitted and uh, those hoops and things are, are, are some things that people don't really understand right mm -hmm. that you can't make someone go That's right. also uh, the person in treatment uh, has a right to deny mm -hmm. you know they, they, they can they can refuse, is my word, they can refuse treatment, they can refuse to take their medication, and, uh, and that happens a lot, you know, it's a, it's a lifetime, it's a chronic disease, yes. okay, so that means that there's no known medical cure uh, for the disease. But we still know who's the healer. Amen. Exactly. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Amen. 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 So let me, you know, I know that we we're just bubbling over with yes. so much that we can say. <laughs> yeah. But does mm -hmm. denial only in, exist in those uh, with mental illness, mm. or mm. does it expand to those who are connected mm. and caring for those mm. who are battling <laughs> mental illness? Oh my child, God! Child, ain't nothing wrong with my child. That's right. Come on, That's right. Come on. Right. Get somewhere and sit down. That's, That's it. Right. That's it. it. My mama all right. That's mm. it. That's she just, it. That's just how she is. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. That's it. Talk mm -hmm. to me. Oh wow. Yeah. I, I will say this. I, I have a history in the long-term care facility, what we know as nursing home. Right. Uh, when I first started, I was so shocked and surprised mm -hmm. how many of our elderly gerion, geriatric patients mm -hmm. had mental health diagnoses mm -hmm. wow. and were on medication. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. it, it completely blew me away. And, 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 you know, at first, being a rookie and not really knowing much about <laughs> what was going on. <laughs> you sound like me. I'm yeah. Like you know, <laughs> I, I'm thinking to myself, where is this coming from? Like, why do y'all have? But then once I started really paying attention, mm -hmm. and that's something I want to tell the people, mm -hmm. pay attention. Pay attention. Watch your surroundings. Mm -hmm. If you're around someone and you know their normalcy, mm -hmm. because a person's normalcy may not be what we think is right, uh -huh. but it's truly who they are. Uh -huh. yes, when, yes. when their normalcy shifts, something is going on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so once I started seeing my little sweet babies yes. in their normalcy, mm -hmm. yes. and when that medication was stopped, because there is a mandate mm -hmm. from the state that you have to what they call titrate yes. or, or, or lower, lower the, the dosage. dosage. Okay. And so when those dosages were lowered, mm -hmm. and I saw my little sweet Miss Johnson turn into something else, mm -hmm. I'm like, that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we Jesus. have to accept, we mm -hmm. have to get in a place where it's okay, just like Miss Johnson needed that blood pressure medicine, right. mm -hmm. just like she needed to see the doctor once a month mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. needed that medication and one of my jobs was to advocate for her yes. we can't mess with her mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. this is what it does mm -hmm. yeah. so yes there are some I was in denial mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a worker as a professional mm -hmm. not knowing the history or not knowing the significance mm -hmm. of what was going on but I thank God that even before I 
-hmm. needed somebody to advocate for me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I began to receive and accept mm -hmm. what the importance is about learning what the brain function does for the rest of your body, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, good. emotionally and physically. Mm -hmm. So yes, there are some times when some people are gonna be around you and they're gonna be like, no, mm -hmm. like that my kids, that, that you know, that. they knew mama mm -hmm. wasn't quite right, yeah. but yeah. it was hard for them to say, she needs to see a professional. Right, uh -huh. right. So yes, I definitely agree with that. There, mm -hmm. there are gonna be some that are gonna be in denial along mm -hmm. with that person right. that needs to help. And, and some of that, mm -hmm. uh, as Apostle Florence said, is shame. Yes. Okay? yes. yes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and t trying to hide. And I don't know, well, I don't think people are doing it now, but I can remember uh, going over to some of my friends' house and I could hear something bumping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's like, what is that? Mm -hmm. It's that family member yes. who wasn't quite, quite right. right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Locked away in a room. Locked somewhere. away in a room. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And I always remember that from The Killer Mockingbird mm -hmm. when Boo Rowley was in that house. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on now. Okay. I'm, taking, I'm taking you down. Come on. Take us down. You got to yeah. say that. Because there was a time because of the shame mm -hmm. of persons who were not like everybody else. That's right. Mm -hmm. Keep them out of the way. Out of the way. Mm -hmm. And yes. then when, you know, people were unable uh, financially to send uh, someone off to a private place, sure. mm -hmm. then that's where they were relegated to the back room. Oh, and, goodness. you know, and we were taught to fear those persons. Right. We were taught to fear them. If you've not watched uh, To Kill a uh, Mockingbird or read it, mm -hmm. I would uh, strongly suggest that you do that. That would give mm -hmm. you a different perspective of how, how it was back then mm -hmm. and in a way still kind of like that. Mm -hmm. sure. We've come it a is. long way. Yes, yes, we, we have. still got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that, just piggybacking off what you just said, that's part of the stigma, the shame, mm -hmm. and most of the people go, go into denial because I'm afraid mm -hmm. if I admit that I'm having an episode, I will be locked in that back yes. room. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and the other thing that I really want to touch on is, is from a church perspective. Yes. Okay, come on. Bring Many it times the in the mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. we want to deny it because we know God's a healer. We Come know on, He's a liver. Mm -hmm. But yes. all of us have to walk through something. Yes. Yes. And, and if, if that's your yes. journey, your road to go, it's okay. Uh -huh. We need to let people know it's okay. Right. We right. can get to help for you. That's yes. that's not a question about your faith. That's not denying that God's not working in your life. On, yes. But the, the thing is, is that we all go through something. Yes. You know, yes. it's okay in the church if someone's dealing with cancer. Uh -huh. We'll mm. put you on the prayer list. Let's pray for Come you. Yes. We believe in God for your healing. We believe mm. in God for your breakthrough. Yes. They have an oh, that's a demon. No, no, no. no. talk on it. You Everything is that. not a demon. Talk that's on right. It. We mm. have to keep that balance in church, and that's what another reason why I believe a lot of people hide mm. because they they feel like that's a question of faith. Yes. I, I must not believe God enough. Uh, yes. because, and see, we can get back and, and examine our own self okay. and realize and understand that just because somebody's going through something, that don't mean that they're against God. You know, right. a lot of people would have kicked Job out of church. Mm. Oh, come on. How are you what? going through all this, come Job? But we now. see what his friends did. Yes. Yes. And so yes. the thing yes. is, is that we need to be able to come along the side someone and say it's okay yeah you're having a chemical imbalance yes. let's get that balance back mm -hmm. if it need to be medication whatever you need to do mm -hmm. I know some people that when they're just like you're saying when they're medicated mm -hmm. they're the most wonderful people in the world mm -hmm. but when they stop taking their medication they become something else yes. right and so right. just get those chemicals in balance it's not as bad again as it looked like and sure. I know it's shameful yeah. and then a lot of times people don't want to come to the church mm -hmm. and admit mm -hmm. that they have a problem oh, because yes. again the first thing most people scream, and I got to put the emphasis on Come it. On. That's a demonic yes. spirit. Mm -hmm. It's a demon, and mm -hmm. we need to cash you out and take you through deliverance. Yes. I want y'all to take some of the people through deliverance that have uh, uh, diabetes. Yes. You know, they, right. they yes. take you deliverance. Take yes. them yes. You, you know, yes. and so, well, I know some people will say, "Brother, listen, everything deal with a spirit of infirmity." Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Well, how how, how do the spirit and firmly operate? Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, what, what's yeah. it? What's it? What, what's he doing? If it's in your brain, it's a chemical imbalance, mm -hmm. and we can fix that. Why sure. not get it fixed? Mm -hmm. Come on now. You know, mm -hmm. one one of the, the people that we talk about a lot of time in Hezekiah in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Hezekiah had a boil on him, 
the prophet Isaiah came to him and said, God told him to take a plum grant and put on the boil. Right. Yes, he did. he mm -hmm. took something from the natural yes. and put on a sickness yes. and it was healed. Right. We can take that medication, put in your body uh -huh. and get those chemicals back in the problem. Yes. Yes. And, that's what, and that's what we need to do is take mm -hmm. down the wall so people can be comfortable. We're not going to lock you in the back room. That's right. We're not oh, going to no. do these things. <laughs> I remember I worked in a, in a mental hospital back in the 80s. Right. And, and back then Alabama was on the uh, court order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they had mistreated so many oh, members. Yes. Yes. They had to wow. put you in the padded room. Put yes. you, we couldn't do those things because they had that's what they were doing for right. so long. Right. That yes. as soon as someone act up, put them in the padded room. Right. Right. So because people didn't want to be bothered. And I'm yes. grateful to be a part of this awareness Man. team so that we can help people know there is help and it's not as bad. It, it just like you know, mm -hmm. we there's so many different avenues that yes. you can go down. Oh there's so many agencies that want to help that yes. can help. Yes. But we just got to connect you with those right people. Yes. And for those people that's a nine because it's their child, mm -hmm. it, come on, it's okay. Yeah, it is. You yes. know, it's okay because first thing, thing. Well, look what you created. You look at it. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. We need to go that's back right. again. Mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. happen. Things yes. happen. If Life we, happens. If we, just a good word. Yes. If we, if then we just get that in people's heart. Mm -hmm. That life happened, mm -hmm. and, and there are people here to help you. It's not going to judge you, mm -hmm. not condemn you, right. not make fun of you. We're going to love you and help you because we're going to be in. The, we're in that place of Christ, and yes. we want to be that portal that can help you get right. Amen. Awesome, Very awesome. Good. And Amen. this, this, uh, uh, I thank you for sharing that, Apostle, because it's a lead in to my next question, mm -hmm. which is, how can we get help for those in leadership? Mm. Uh, that's Undeveloped and misinformed. <laughs> My God. Uh, I'll wow. start right there. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go on in. That's your mm -hmm. baby. That's yes, my baby. Sir. That's yes. right. Misinformed. <laughs> yes. Many times we don't have the information mm -hmm. because we're trying to be something that we're not in the space to be. My God. Uh, come and, on. And, and, and mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 sometimes we, we, we make this mistake, and I, again, come from a church perspective. Mm -hmm. We come by Apostle's Church, and she got this church laid out, and I go back, I'm going to emulate what I saw. Mm -hmm. Well, that might not be what God called Ooh, me to do. Exactly. Uh, I need to stay in the lane that mm -hmm. God wants oh, no. me to be. Ooh, you got to uh, say this that. misinformation, mm -hmm. Oof. I think Christianity, so all good. of us supposed to be the same. Mm -hmm. We're all called to different places. Mm -hmm. Paul laid it out for us. He mm -hmm. said, not everybody's the eye, not everybody's Come the on, hand. Yes, so we just said. need to function. Mm -hmm. And, and we all said, stay in our own lane. Yes. Yes. And once you understand that even though you have a call as a leader, you're in a position, not just in the church, but in corporate America, you mm -hmm. need to understand what do you operate? What are right. you trying to mm -hmm. produce? What is your end goal? Mm -hmm. Get the information mm -hmm. so you know that your outcome is going to be the same every yes, time yes. and that's why most people when you follow the recipe you follow it completely mm. that you can get the same result it's not gonna be too sweet on, not gonna be right. too salty because <laughs> I put just, just the right amount of ingredients oh my goodness. information does that for you oh underdeveloped means that I haven't gone through long enough uh -huh. and you know and, and when, again starting from the church perspective and the example of Apostle again, if you God mm -hmm. send you to her church, you come and you stay put come right, until right. you're fully developed. Oh, come you come might Apostle. sound like her, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. might even learn to walk like her, mm -hmm. but can you carry what she's My carrying? It's time That's to where go. the development <laughs> comes in at. Come when on. you get fully developed, mm -hmm. Oh, then you'll be able to handle the thing because adversity is going to hit you. Oh, yes. Every time. When you Every get out there, adversity is going to hit you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to always know how certain things are going to manifest in the yes, right. mm -hmm. yes, I, I had a pastor friend, and I, and I say this, mm -hmm. and then he, he said he went to seminary, and he went to Bible college, mm -hmm. he learned everything he learned, and he, he, was, he was down, he was ready for it. Mm -hmm. And the first church he was at, he was standing on the altar praying for somebody. And the young lady reached in the park in a purse, grabbed a cigarette light, and set a hair on fire. Wow. Mm. And he said, for a fleeting second, he said, nobody told me about this in seminary. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. told me about this mm -hmm. in Bible college. Mm -hmm. What, you know, what do Ooh. I do? He said, thank God he had enough resolve to remember mm -hmm. that I have the Spirit of God Come in me. Yes. I've been now. through some things. So many people, that. you know, they'll panic and run from that. So you're going to have the verses. No matter what, you need to be developed. Yes. yes. As yes. you're being developed, you experience things, you expose the things. Thing, you understand why, as, as you said earlier, that's not her norm. She don't act like that mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. I got to pay attention. Yes. But if you just uh, uh, become a machine and just do no oh development, make you sensitive to mm -hmm. your surroundings. Yes, yes. Say that. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Apostle, if I could yes. just add this yes, from a service perspective. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
all of us are not rebellious. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it's right. not always a spirit of rebellion. No. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes it could be, I'm out of my mind. Exactly. Yes. And, and I yes. need for you to not see me mm -hmm. as yes. the one that's not doing what you want me to do. Uh -huh. Right. But look on the spirit. Look on the okay. inside. Yeah. The Bible yeah. tells yeah. us mm -hmm. to try the spirit mm -hmm. to prove itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you got to prove, is this really her or is this what she's dealing with? That's right. Okay. That's the importance of leadership. Mm -hmm. I bless mm -hmm. God that I went through that apostle, mm -hmm. not because of a great story to tell, but now I can help somebody else mm -hmm. who's in a leadership position. Mm -hmm. That's why so many, so many people need to go. Through. Come on now, because yeah. so how can you lead me and you never been through? Come on, apostle. You know, and we, and we look at every person in the Bible that God used. Yes. He took them through do something. something. Yes, Joseph, one of, my, one of my favorite people. Joseph mm -hmm. had to go through yes, the, being uh, isolated, mm -hmm. Come rejected, on. Come on. put in a pit, Come sold into slavery. Yes. But his destiny was always he was going to be a ruler, yes. a leader. Come on. I, and I feel like this, and, and God told me this now, and I'll be done. Uh, uh, Moses, when when he left Egypt, he went through the desert. Yes, he, he went mm -hmm. through a horrific place. Mm -hmm. Now, when he got it, when he got introduced to God, God told him, said, "Go back and get my people and bring them back." That's right. Yes. What you've yes. been through as a leader, mm -hmm. you now can lead people through. Come on, we somebody. have too many people who not developed. They Come trying on. to lead people through things they never been, been through. through. Oh. You know. So, and, and I like what Jesus. you said about. When you understand, oh, I recognize that. That's yeah, not yes, rebellion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yes. they, 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 they overwhelm. Yes, you know, yes. so let me get in and help mm, them. So yes. I don't kick them out. And then here's one of the worst things is don't tell everybody in the church. Ooh, come on. You're the leader. You better. You're the leader. You're the leader. Yes. You know, I want to look at the camera and say, you the leader. Yes. Get, to get them to a position right. where you can help them. That's right. A lot of times people won't, won't accept and they go in denial because they're afraid yes. of what you're going to say and do. Exactly. Everybody in the church know I got a problem. Everybody know yes. I had an episode. Everybody yes. knows. Mm -mm. Yes. So no, no. No. yes. Exactly. That's that part. Good. Mm -hmm. That's that, that, all, all of that. Ooh, all of that. All, all of that. All of that. Yeah. Exactly. All this is awesome. We, we, you know, standing from a uh, pastor's position, um, I've had to deal with mental illness in my church, and I think this is this is that's one of the things that kind of gave me, you know, got my heart stirring and my mind going. Uh, and not only that, but in my family. But as a pastor, when I was faced with these things, I was undeveloped and uninformed. Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I haven't been exposed to that maybe since maybe the last two or three years. And then when it hit my church, I was just like, didn't know what to do but pray. Mm -hmm. And I took prayer to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. yes. But I didn't see the results that I wanted. Mm -hmm. oh. So oh. then I had to go to another place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had to get them some help and make sure that they was on medication, make sure that they was going to their appointments and all that. Mm -hmm. But it, it changed my heart and mind. Mm -hmm. I said, I need more. Mm -hmm. You know, answer. I'm trying not to cry, but I oh, needed more amen. to handle Ooh, that situation. It overwhelmed me. It put me in a place where I felt like I wasn't effective. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't do a good job. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to handle it because wow. I wasn't equipped, because wow. I wasn't prepared. And I felt like I let God down. I felt like I let them down. Wow. And so I just felt overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how come I made some phone calls. Wow. Okay. And, uh, and so to get us away, yeah, he answered a prayer yes. to what I needed because I was right here. I, this is my question right here. Yes. How do you get help for undeveloped and uninformed pastors and leaders that have to oversee people, Jesus. that have to oversee the church and your community and your children as well? Yes. Yes. And then when you and hit yourself. with them, and yes. myself, yes. And exactly. Yes. So what do you do? So. I think that resources need to be out there. Oh, I agree. You know, um, talk shows, TV shows, um, pamphlets, mm -hmm. radio talk. I mean, whatever it takes to make sure that we are equipped yes. to um, to handle this when it comes to your home or to your life. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say to your life. Because you you it not, may not be the church. It may be your home. Mm -hmm. or maybe your family. It could yes. be a close friend. Yes. It could be your next door neighbor on, that man. you ha may have to help. Yes. Yes. But yes. at the end of the day, we still need to be equipped. You know, mm -hmm. uh, just like Ephesians said, we need to be equipping the saints. Yes. Exactly. So we need yes. to be equipping the saints mm -hmm. when it comes to mental illness. Yes. Because it is on the rise and it has, it has spiked. Mm -hmm. Like never before. Yes. yes. You know, mm -hmm. so I want to see us as leaders, mm -hmm. uh, um, as pastors and overseers and apostles and whoever we are, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you have a title, I want to see everybody get yes. equipped yes. Um, yes. to handle this if it comes your way. Mm -hmm. I, I want to jump in and say something real quick because mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to miss that emphasis. One of the, t one of the tactics of the enemy is to try to make you feel like you're the failure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. You know, That's you, how you I took the prayer mm -hmm. to another level. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
But guess what? God was birthing something out of Come you. On. And see, a lot of times we forget it's birthing. Mm. And yes. It's okay to have pain in birth. Yes. It's okay to be a bloody mess in yes. birth. Yes. It's yes. okay because you're producing something greater. Yes. And see, but so every leader needs to understand when you're going through the birthing process, mm -hmm. you're going to be in pain. You're yes. going to feel inadequate. Yes. And, and you know they say, uh, y'all can help me as ladies, they say mm. that they're one of the most dangerous times for a woman is childbirth. Yes, it is. You it feel is. like you're actually dying. dying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if God is birthing something mm -hmm. out of us, mm -hmm. it's okay to feel like you're dying. Yes. But then we got to stop being threatened as mm -hmm. leaders. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, it's got to be okay that I, if I need help, I can open up and say I need help. Right. Yes. 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 Not, and see, I, and you know what happened before? Mm -hmm. Not this time. That's right. Yeah. This, time, this time, God has raised up leaders who mm -hmm. will come alongside Look you and time. say, mm -hmm. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. yes. This time, God has touch people Ooh, who say it's God. not about me Come on, yes. because see the word the simple meaning of agape is mm -hmm. I want what's best for you my, yes, exactly. Come on. and see if Teach I really us. love you Teach then us. I want what's best for, for you. you it's yes. not about what I can get out mm -hmm. of it that's the world teaching that's mm -hmm. it. so we got we have to get into a place where we understand mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it's okay as a leader that's right. to admit I need some help yes. because as leaders we're not supposed to be by ourselves in the first place right. exactly. the yes, Lord right. sent them out by two yes. that's right Somewhere along the line, yeah. we got we got in our mind <laughs> that, it, that I have to be the big honcho. I got to be no. the one. No, I need everybody. And and see, watch this. Every test I've gone through, mm -hmm. there's been a major test in my life, has mm -hmm. proven to me mm -hmm. I'm inadequate and I need somebody. Come on yes, now. we do. I need somebody praying for me. Yes. I need somebody that I can call and talk, talk to. to. I need somebody that will speak into my life and mm -hmm. tell me, no, 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 this is the way here. Come on, and yeah. when it comes to mental health, yes. we have to. Because there are things that are going to come up in our churches sure. as leaders mm -hmm. that we're not going to handle it. Not mil every mental uh, health episode is going to be the same. Sure, yes. exactly. And so That's I right. need to be able to know, oh, I got it down, brother. I dealt with that. No, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. you know, God, mm -hmm. thanks be to God when I worked in that field years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I learned, uh, I, I started to learn, like, okay, this person act this way. Some are violent, some are not violent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some are suicidal, some are not suicidal. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole thing is we have to learn that in, in, not, in every case, I can say sitting here, in every case, Almost 90% of the patients that came through that mental hospital, mm -hmm. back, even back then, mm -hmm. they were able to help. Oh, wow. They were able That's to go back amazing. in society. Definitely. They were able to go back in society. I'm talking 90% yes. of them. Yes. You know, you're going to have that one or two. And that sometimes we, we put everybody in the same, same bag yes, because do. of the one violent yeah. yes. uh, thing. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. important. But back to the leadership thing, mm -hmm. it's okay, leaders. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It's okay. Yes, it is. It's okay. I need help. Yes. Because, yes. again, see, that's why we need each other. Because there's some things that you can do way greater mm -hmm. than I can do. Yeah. Yeah. There's some people that you can talk to yes. that won't even give me a time of day. Yes. So it's important that we understand mm. that we Jesus. need each other. Yes, we we're, we're better together. Come we're better together. Well, yeah, we can we can accomplish something. Yes, come on, something. That is awesome. This is That's awesome. awesome. Yes. Help is awesome, and uh, believe it or not, we have uh, covered a great deal of what our goal was today, mm -hmm. and that's to provide more information. Mm -hmm. I want to tack on one last information part. Mm -hmm. We talked about undeveloped and uninformed, mm -hmm. right. but we also have to, we, we got to straighten out this misinformation. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. There, yes. A lot of people are mm -hmm. still operating on old stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this mental health awareness team, yes. uh, one of our goals is that we're making efforts to provide more resources uh, in terms of referral and also some educational training mm -hmm. yes. by way of uh, seminars and conferences because that, I mean, if, if we're just going to talk about it and that's all we're going to mm -hmm. do, then nothing is going to change. Exactly. But the responsibility now is going to be on those who lack this information mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. to come on in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let's get this done. Yes. You deserve to live better. Mm -hmm. The people under your leadership in your congregation, they deserve to have better mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can't tell them about things if you don't know. That's, That's right. right. That's and it. there is no reason for you to be ignorant 
in this day and time. Amen. What you say? Good word. You better say so that. So we're looking forward to uh, those great things that we have uh, in, in mind. Uh, as we get these things going, mm -hmm. you'll hear more from us. Amen. The mental health awareness team. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you all so Amen. much. Amen. Oh, you're oh, so great. welcome. Amen. Thank you. Great job great today. Awesome. Yes. Great Amen. sharing. Wonderful. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. Well, for the rest of the year, we're going to be focusing on mental health awareness. And this is our mental health awareness team, minus one, Jerry. Uh, Jackson was not able to be with us today. Mm -hmm. But be on the lookout for, um, for what God is going to allow us to do in the community, yes. um, in, 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 in your home. Uh, wherever he sends us or wherever he allows us to reach, we're going to be there. Mm -hmm. So check us out on the You Better Say That Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and check out their social media um, site as well. Mm -hmm. um, that is Kim. Which, tell them your Facebook page. Yes, I actually have two. My personal one, of course, is Kim L. Coleman. And the one that I do my ministry on is Motivational Monday. Positive thoughts that bring positive results. So Amen. please check me out. Amen. Apostle? Mine, of course, I have a personal page, Israel Jones. And my ministry page is IJ Ministries. And I also have a YouTube page, IJ Ministries, the number five. Mm, right. Amen. Don't forget right. real talk. Oh, that's right. We do <laughs> real talk every that's we right. do real talk real every talk. Tuesday Amen. and Thursdays, noontime. Today we uh, put out a uh, previous recorded one, but usually on Tuesday we do real talk. So please come and uh, send us some information. I mean, contact us. We'll be yes. glad to get you some information. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And um, my Facebook page is Verlinda White. Uh, and soon to come, uh, another page will be Naomi Girls. Woo -hoo! Naomi girls. Naomi. Yes. And also to it. add Apostle Zeta, mm -hmm. we want you guys to be on the lookout yes. within the next few days. We will also have a Facebook media page entitled Mental Health Awareness Team. Yes. Where we'll be dropping yes. nuggets. We'll be posting pictures. We'll be giving you different bits of information to keep you in the loop that mental health awareness is possible. Amen. Be on awesome. the lookout. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to talk about it. We're going to be about it. Amen. You better Amen. say that. Until next time, God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you.